All right, how we doing? Just gonna make a short video tonight. I'm gonna be meeting some buddies up for a little scouting. Um, it's about that time of year, so I've got a first rifle, a bull tag. So does my buddy, uh, both my other buddies here. Uh, this is unit 74 um, in Colorado. Um, so that's coming up in a couple months. So it's time to start taking a peek at some animals and starting to get my ass in shape, so. It is about seven o'clock. Um, should be able to hopefully get up to my destination here before it gets dark. Those guys are already up there. I had to stay a little bit longer at work today. So I'm gonna be kind of coming up to this little gully here and then we gotta drop down a little bit and bump back up, so. See how out of shape I am. Got a little bit of elevation to push, probably a thousand feet or so. Not too bad, but don't have too much weight on my back either, which is nice. But my cardio is less than impressive right now, so we'll see how that goes. See how loose this shit is. Not really a great way to access where I'm trying to go. So this is what we have to do. <clears throat> so the plan right now is to get up to this saddle. Um, this is an area that we hunted last year, so I'm kind of already familiar with it. Me and my buddy put a couple bulls down last year up in these basins that I'm gonna be looking into. So this will be the first time of the year that we're getting eyes on, on this area again. So I'm not totally sure what we're gonna see. Um, those guys have my spotting scope. They went and grabbed it grabbed it um, earlier today, so I'm not sure if maybe they already saw some animals already, but of course, you're gonna see most of the action tonight about the time that I get up there. So we'll have to see what we see. Um, I'm just gonna be bivy camping. I kind of checked the weather and didn't see that there was gonna be any real precipitation tonight. And I've been a really big fan of baby camping lately. It's, I love looking at the stars and it's lighter, easier, faster to set up, pretty much everything about it. So as long as it's really not super, super shitty weather, I am probably gonna be baby camping. So there's some moose poop. to go down another 50 feet in elevation, which is not that bad. I want to get you guys a good view of kind of where I'm headed. It's very pretty. So I'll be kind of pushing up this drainage and then working my way up to a saddle kind of way up there next to those rocks. And that is where I will rest my weary head tonight. So it's, haven't been getting out into the mountains this summer as much as I would like. It's been um, busy summer, busy weekends with weddings and stuff like that. So I'm really glad to come out here and meet my buddies and BS a little bit and look at some elk and some stars and mountains and 
be thankful that I live in this area because it really is a cool place. So, so with that being said, I'm probably going to go ahead and cut you out for just a little bit here. I'll probably bump you back on once I'm part way up the drainage here and check in. So talk to you in a bit. Well, you can hear me breathing. Probably guessed correctly that I am going up and I'm in pathetic shape right now, at least cardio wise. <clears throat> so I'm probably eh, not quite a third of the way up this gully and then towards the end I'll kind of have a last steeper push of elevation to gain. <clears throat> you can see start to see some of the country super stinky in here which is cool a lot of elk sign and I've seen them in this gully too before so I wouldn't be surprised at all if there's some elk out higher up because it's about that time of the evening <clears throat> so like I said my cardio is a abysmal right now which it's not a big deal i've got plenty of time till season and i'll be coming out a lot more which always helps but i'm also heavier than i've ever weighed in my life right now which is cool i made it a vow that i was going to get to 180 pounds for this year's hunt and I'm normally sitting at 160 to 165 at the most. And now I'm at solid 175, which is cool. So feeling pretty happy about it because I've been having trouble putting on weight for a long time and getting those gym gains, which I'm finally getting again, which is nice. So. Just yesterday, I finally hit a 405 deadlift, with that, which I've been trying to hit for so long. So that was a really cool feeling. And I'm only gonna get stronger from here. I don't have any plans on getting any fucking weaker. So I'll see how the journey goes. You can see I'm following a real nice elk path right now. There's the water just there. And they've been all over this. It stinks. <sighs> so, what else do I want to talk about? Um, as far as, oops, gotta go up here. As far as, you know, hunting strategy and all that, um, my strategy's definitely changed over the years. I've been hunting for, hunting elk for almost a decade now. Um, or well, I guess maybe eight years. And uh, used to be, I mean, I was lucky enough to meet some good friends that are damn good elk hunters and hunt hard, hunt our butts off, all that good stuff. But at least in the first years, um, our strategy wasn't totally optimized. So we didn't really scout that much. And we were hunting a lot of um, kind of these, this area that has um, a lot of elk that move through it. And it's a great, awesome migratory path from the early season when they're all in the high country. And then they start moving down. Ooh, is that an Amanita? What is that? That's cool. When they're moving down, um, there's a lot of elk that move through this kind of whole big area that we used to hunt a lot more. And, but the downside is it's a lot of timber with kind of spotty meadows and draws. And the draws are nice, but there's not really a way to glass them or to glass the elk, especially like when you're actually hunting to see where they're at. Pretty much the only way 
is to um, push up this other trail on the other side of this big steep canyon and look down into it from there and see see those meadows and see where the elk are so basically we were kind of hunting blind for a while and still worked out pretty well like we had pretty good success and there's so many elk in there that um, sometimes you just pop onto them in a timber um, I've killed I think I've only killed a couple cow elk and uh, they were both in there and both times I killed them they were about 30 40 yards tops away and I pretty much just popped up onto them which is cool but I'm finding it's a lot more fun and it feels a lot more um, just kind of genuine and memorable when I take kind of a longer shot so last year the bull that I killed up here was not that long of a shot it's only about 120 yards but um, he was on the run slow run and it was kind of through this like narrow shooting lane so it was a pretty tricky shot I only had about two and a half three seconds to take it but I'm hoping this year I get an opportunity to take maybe even a three or maybe even a 400 yard shot would be cool and take a longer poke and kind of <clears throat> get that experience I've got a new rifle for this year Christensen NPR which a little bit heavy a little bit of weight I'm gonna be lugging around but badass rifle attack driver and uh, no sense in having one of those and shooting elk at 30 yards in the freaking neck or whatever that's a little silly so but that's what's cool about this area is we're hunting pretty much above tree line and we're doing more of that spot and stalk stuff where we're we're seeing them watching them for days sometimes trying to pattern them and then coming up with a strategy from there either I mean we might even be in two different basins or two different lookout points and that's basically okay look at the color on that one wow that's basically what we did last year and it worked out pretty well so it's going to be really interesting to see what happens this year I'm pretty excited so i think with that being said I'll let you guys go you're probably tired of hearing me wheeze like an old man or smoking addict so catch up with you in a bit well my friends i literally just turned off that camera a minute ago and we got elk so you're probably not gonna be able to see them because they're a ways off and i don't think that this camera is really optimized for that unfortunately guys these things are dirty so there's a couple in this chute and then there's two that just cross this river i don't know if they heard me they might have they crossed the river kind of in that little gully there and jumped up into that timber so I'm gonna need to work the edge of this timber line so hopefully I don't bust them out of here um, but obviously that's a good sign and I'm not one bit surprised at all because I know there's elk in here and there's guys out there that are better than me at calling and shooting um, all that stuff but I can get on elk probably up there with the best of them and um, that's one thing I've gotten pretty decent at over the years is not only working my butt off but just finding good spots where they're at where they like to live okay. 
get around this tree and I gotta get up into these trees or they're gonna see me. They're still a ways off, but elk have such amazing eyesight. They will bust ass and I don't want that if I can help it. Who is hot? Now they're looking a little alarmed right now. They might have seen me. Those elk are probably 300 yards away, I would guess. Okay, I think we're good. There. I don't see them alarm. They're moving almost towards me. They're just kind of doing their thing. Slowly move up here because I gotta keep moving. I still got somewhat decent trick to get up to my buddies here, and uh, I'm doing good on time, but I still gotta keep moving. It's almost 7 30 and it's getting dark, I think, before nine now. Okay. Lots of nice little trails in here. Alright. Probably turn you guys on when I get a little bit closer. So I'm a little bit closer, guys. I just heard a bugle. It's August. What is it? Like 8th? And there's a cow right there. Do you see her? She's still a little ways away. She's close to 100 yards, but I hope you can see her. I'm not sure how easy it is on this camera yet to see something like that, but hopefully you can. There, she just picked her head up. So a bull just beagled, not that far. So I'm gonna keep you guys recording. And I'm gonna keep pushing up here. She almost busted me. I didn't know I was going to be that close to one. She's probably more like 80 yards. And that's what I'm saying. I just got to the point where it seems like I just pop right up on them. This was hunting season. I had a cow tag. That's a dead elk right there. She just heard that. She doesn't know I'm here though. That creek is between me and her. And it is masking a lot of my sound. That's all thick in here. She's like 50 yards now through those trees. I'm gonna keep going because I don't want to bust her. where you gotta be careful. There's always more. And they're never where you think they are.
bull's not far. Cow's close too. She just mewed. That almost sounded like another bull talking over there. I think I got a couple bulls around me right now. She'd give me another bugle, so I knew how close he was. Just gotta move cautiously. He just went again. He's still further up. He might be moving away though. It's getting stinky too. There's the other one. breath again so sorry oh, there's a deer too so I crossed that river I'm on the other side now never heard or saw that bull again but he's in there somewhere there's a deer up there and there's elk right there I knew they were gonna be in this bull just wasn't sure where and I was starting to wonder and then I got up onto this little bench and lo and behold my spidey senses serve me well. Oh. I gotta keep moving now. I'm gonna keep an eye on these elk across the way, but I gotta go. I still got a little bit of hiking here. And the sun's going down, slowly but surely. getting there 
mostly wanted to show you guys that bowl or sorry that bowl show you that I was starting to see elk again so I'm gonna turn you off again real quick catch you on one more time before the top well I just heard another bugle and I see elk so let's play a game let's see how close we can get to these fuckers because they're not far you see them there oh my god there's more too I'm about to blow these motherfuckers out it's cool though Well, these sneaky bastards pulled a one-two on me, switched the camp spot a little bit, but I ran right into them. Joel, Bruce, how's it going? Whew, man, you hearing a bugle? They can bugle. Yeah, they can bugle. Fucking cool. There's six going over the ridge right Is now. Is that the cows that I scared? Yeah. We, we I blew out spooked. an entire herd out of here. Did you? Yeah. Where the fuck did you park? Well, we decided to come in the bad way. So oh, we went okay. over this. Okay. Thinking that I thought we could hold elevation when you can't. And then it took us up in the past yeah. ridge and then that's where we <laughs> So we did the bad way. You gave Bruce the old Joel treatment, did you? <laughs> yeah. I told him, you know, Joel's not always the best at picking up. 
and we're used to like, oh, it's okay. Oh, man. <laughs> Many times, yeah, dude, that was but, I mean, cool. I got, I mean, I was at points, I was 40, 50 yards from those fuckers. Yeah, coming up. Yeah. We just I got some cool footed go over the top in 10 minutes. God, those fuckers. I know, I, I blew them out down there. There's a five by five up midway on this. Hill. Is it? I think he's a five. So, by I five. heard two different ones bugling, yeah. but I never saw all the bulls. One's over there, but I haven't found them yet. One's in that timber, and then one's down across. Yeah, he's in that timber. I think the herd bull's in that timber, but yeah. there was another bull that was not in that timber. Oh and man, dude, I'm so fucking starving. The herd bull was bugling, the other bull wasn't in there. And then this bull's over here. Yeah. So, and then since I put through some nasty way, what a, we wore out right here. Yeah. And the water's still like two or three feet down. What, um, what is that, uh, what does that five by look like? Is he a little guy, Meeple? I didn't get out this. Oh, yeah. I didn't get out the spotting scope because we were just trying oh, to go on still hike. Yeah. Sweet. Dude, it's so awesome to get in here. Tomorrow morning we're thinking we're gonna pop up on there. Yeah, yeah. In the morning. I'm game with that. There or here? Right there. Oh, okay. I think because the trail goes right up through there. Okay, we can always walk the ridge a little. Yeah, we can always move up. I just figure if we're too far that way, we're not going to be able to see any, the other one. All right, well, it is the next morning, and I am heading out of here. Um, ended up getting about 30 minutes of sleep last night, which is what it is, you know. It's how it goes sometimes, um, but... Got really a little sleep. Woke up about four this morning to push up onto this ridge. And um, unfortunately, we had a bunch of smoke roll in, which is getting a little bit better now, but it's still pretty smoky. So that kind of screwed up the glassing a little bit. And it's, <clears throat> it's quite breezy up here. So if it sounds crappy, I'm sorry. But um, saw a couple animals this morning, but not much. Um, and I've got to go to a wedding today, actually, so I gotta pack out of here, get home, and get some stuff ready, and then drive three hours to a wedding, so it's a fun trip, though. Um, super pretty basin. It was fun to hike up in here. I've been glassing into this, but I had never actually hiked up into it, so it was cool to do that and meet up with my buddies that I'm gonna be hunting with this year, so... That being said, we'll call it good for this video and see you on the next one.